Hey Betty Nation, so I wanted to do a little video for you to explain the settings. Now the settings controls every aspect of this software, so you must input some numbers here. If you don't input these numbers here, the software doesn't know that you're searching for anything, so you must, this is a hub if you like, this is a central hub. So really, really straightforward, the settings are found up here all the time. You simply input some numbers here, so it looks fairly easy and not too complicated. Let me start off by telling you the very, very easy sections. Display today, it means that I'm displaying today's horses information. If you click tomorrow, then you're displaying tomorrow's. If you click both, then you are displaying both lots of information today and tomorrow. The handicap button here is basically saying, show me handicaps only for today and for tomorrow. If you dis tick that one, this tick, I don't know. If you untick that one, that's a lot better English. If you untick that one, then the handicap will, if you click the handicap button, it will just show you handicaps for this day. Now the gold button here, very, very straightforward. This will highlight all horses that have decreased by this amount and display them in the gold column. So let's get rid of this. So you see the gold column there, it will display all that, all them figures. For, ex for example, for this one, we have put 25% in, so it will show you horses that have decreased in value by 25% in running. Simple as that. The next one, the green one, it will show you again exactly the same as a goal button. This will show, this will highlight all horses that have decreased by this amount and display them in the green column. The green column is highlighted handily in, yep, you guessed it, green. Okay, the next one. Form history. So this is basically asking you how many previous races do you want the software to search for this criteria? How far back do you want it to go? You can put 10 races, you can put three races, you can put any any amount of races you want. That is how much the software will search back for you. So we'll stick to five for this explanation. So as you can see there, it's telling you dob ratio four out of five. Um, three out of three. The reason why it's three out of three because there isn't five, and so we've took the decision to put um, people horses that still fit the percentage criteria in there. I mean, some people have asked about that, but um, and we might change it depending on how you guys want the software to function. So we can change that. Um, anyway, this isn't part of the the settings explanation. So form history literally tells you uh, is asking you how far back you want the software to search. Now, dob criteria. I'll be honest with you, betting nation. I've had a hell of a time trying to explain this in that little button there. Um, and it is very, very straightforward, but as you know, if you listen to the podcast, I use about 50 words when two would be enough to explain something. And so I've had a little bit of a trouble trying to explain it. Here's what I put. Dub criteria is taking the runs in form history and asking what percentage of successful green boxes do you want the software to show? So it really is very, very, very straightforward. And I'm probably confusing matters by calling it DOB criteria. It really should be called green criteria because it's, it's, it's directly linked to this box here. And the reason why I put DOB criteria is because I normally stick to this box as in a DOB, 50%. And that's maybe confusing matters. So all this is asking is, I'll give you an example. For example, if you had five in form history like this, and then you had 50% in green, in the green tab, and you selected 80% in dog criteria, then the software would show you all horses that in their last five runs have decreased in price by over 50% in play, 80% or more of the time. Now, that sums it up perfectly better nation in my eyes anyway hopefully you guys understand it so what it's saying is it's basically saying look dub criteria is asking you how many runs of a form history and the green how much percentage success rate do you want to show so right now now you've clicked 80 percent this will the software will only show you horses that have hit 50 percent or has, has decreased 50 percent or more from the last five runs so for example, four out of five is 80%. So therefore it meets our criteria. So it will only show you 80% and above success rates. 
you can obviously change this to whatever percent you want. I always use a high percentage just because I want to see horses that have in this historical trend of, of doing what I'm asking the software to search for. If you want to do it, go a bit higher, fine. If you want to only search for 100%, that's absolutely fine. If you want to search for 50%, that's absolutely fine. The great thing about this software, Betting Nation, is it's completely unique to you. Somebody might have a fantastic winning day using this software, and somebody else might have a losing day because this software searches on what you ask it to search for, what your systems may be, what your criteria may be. My criteria will be different to yours. Your criteria will be different to somebody else's. And do you know what? It really is trial and error. What this software does is it highlights, it shines a spotlight on horses that have historically traded lower. And then what you've got to do yourself is to look, see if that horse is something you want to pursue this day. That, that's all it does. It really is. For me, it's a time-saving device. It literally just highlights horses that have historically done well in play and then I look further into how, how well the horse has done but you guys might just want to use this this settings the data and that's absolutely fine it's in individual that's what I'm trying to get across it's individual to the user so Betty Nation hopefully I haven't confused you too much with dub criteria but it really is very, very simple. My brief for this software was so straightforward and simple and exactly what I wanted. So I wanted basically my mum to be able to use the software. As it happens, my mum can't use the software. That's because she's stupid. I'm only joking. Oh God, I feel real bad for saying that. I'm only joking, mum. <laughs> so she nearly can. And so that's what I want. I want people who aren't so familiar with horse racing to be able to understand this software. And although... Most people who aren't familiar with, soft, uh, with horse racing can't understand the software. Hopefully for you guys who know a little about, about horse racing and the Betfair prices, then it is very, very straightforward. And I try to make it as straightforward, as simple as I possibly can do. So thank you so much for listening to this and we'll do some more videos today. Thank you. Bye-bye.